Hey guys, I know how daunting it may be coming to Izzar next year, especially with all the uncertainties you may have. So we created a short video of what some girls fears before coming to Israel and how they quickly overcame it. I hope this alleviates some of your stress and makes you excited for next year. Something that I was really nervous about coming in was getting close with teachers. And at the beginning of the year, all the teachers were saying, make meetings, come over, talk to us. I realized they are so understanding and supportive and they really want what's best for you. And they're very good at keeping up and checking in and it really changes your year. One thing I found quite nervous before starting seminary was the fact that we were presented with a 13 hour schedule of which nine of those hours were dedicated to learning. One of the things that I was most nervous about coming into Israel was the adjustment to longer days of learning and not being used to ending so late at night. The nine hours of learning just flew past and I was able to gain and was interested in classes I really enjoyed. But I realized when I got there how long our lunch and dinner breaks were, plus having Monday nights off, so a day never really felt so long. So something I was really nervous about before my year in Israel was transportation. And one thing that I was a little bit nervous about going in was how to get around. Something I was nervous about before going to seminary was public transportation, like how I would take the bus and not get lost. I know that I'm sure a lot of you guys are nervous about taking buses and the light rail and cabs because it's a whole new concept for some people. If you have Move It and or Google Maps, it's a lot easier than it seems. And I'm sure people tell you, but you get a Rob Cobb, like put money on it, and then you just use it to get around by bus. It's really easier than with like the Move It app. And trust me, like it gets easier like as you do it. I promise you, you'll end up being a pro at it. Within the first month, you'll know exactly what to do. And something that I was worried about before I came to Israel was that I would forget things when I was packing, but don't worry, you really have access to so many things in Israel and if you forget something, you can just borrow from someone else. So one thing that I was nervous about before I got to Israel was I didn't know how I was going to see my friends from other programs. I know that a lot of programs let other people sleep in or let them sleep out Thursday night. You're basically off from Thursday night until Sunday morning. And a lot of the schools overlap when they have their off Shabbases, so you're able to hang out with people during that time. Uh, one thing that I was nervous about for seminary was definitely coming in alone. Um, I didn't come in with any close friends or any friends at all really from high school. It was super, super fun in the end. In the beginning, obviously everything is hard, but I got used to it really fast and it forced me to actually branch out a lot more than I would have otherwise. Would have loved coming in with friends also. Like I know people that had that come in with friends and either are great, but I'm saying if you're not, don't let that make you like super, super nervous because you're gonna be totally fine either way and it actually helps you branch out more. Something that I was super nervous about was um, how the in-town versus out-of-town people interacted. In-town is like the yeshiva leaguers and out-of-town is everyone else. And coming from Maryland, I never really interacted with people from the Yeshiva League, and I was super nervous, but it turned out to be fine. They're really awesome people. Some of my best friends are actually from the in town, and I'm so lucky to have been in an environment that we could all intermingle peacefully and love each other, and it was really an awesome experience. So, nothing to worry about. One thing that I was nervous about was going to a new country, a new place with different people. And two things that helped me was one, to push myself, to challenge myself, to try new things, always ask for help. There are so many people like teachers, administrators, people who were in Israel last year, friends that all want to help you and they all want you to succeed. So don't be afraid to reach out and accept the help that they're offering. So I was kind of nervous before going into seminary about what I was going to do for Shabbos. So sometimes you just have to go with the flow and not to worry because there's so many people in Israel who are willing to tell you like who are willing to guide you and invite you and you just you won't be stuck you, you won't be stuck so i wouldn't worry about that so a big fear of mine was that the friends that i made in high school who are not going to the same seminary as me would slowly drift away make other friends forget about me but when you physically make an effort to go out of your way to text them or to go out of your way to hang out with them it really keeps the relationship going and that really helps me all throughout my years.